fantasy is a very powerful way of telling stories. And I think you can see that why young people in particular love it. And I think there's two reasons for that. One is because, Mary, it's just fun. It's just plain fun. It's a way of adventuring, exploring as widely as you possibly can. You don't need to be limited to your own life, your own body, your own culture, your own time. You can live in this universe or another one that you've made up. But there's something deeper going on too. It's not just about the fun and the adventure. It's also that fantasy is like looking into a bent mirror about who we are as human beings. When you look at straight realistic fiction, we see ourselves very clearly. But when you look at ourselves through the mirror of fantasy, the bent mirror heightens some qualities and diminishes others. And so you can raise the profile of issues like, can we live sustainably on our planet with ourselves and our fellow creatures? Or what is the power of one choice that one person might make? Or how do we find meaning in life? Or can relationships really last throughout a whole life and maybe even after that? Questions like that, in fantasy you can bend the mirror and as long as you have an internal logic that feels true to the intelligent reader, you can go there and you can experience life and you can really look closely at some of those big issues that we all think about.